Welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita, and today we're making a mushroom marinara sauce. This recipe is easy to make, requires minimal ingredients, and is great for batch cooking for the week. So let's jump right into it. Here's everything you need to make this recipe. I'll also leave everything in the description box below, along with a link to the blog post, with some hunger-inducing photos and a printable recipe card. If you're not a fan of mushrooms, no worries, you can leave them out, and this basic marinara will still turn out great. And if you're not a fan of canned sauce and want to go with the full from scratch method, I'll share details on that as well. We'll start by rolling up our sleeves and prepping our veggies. Rinsing and dicing the tomatoes, rinsing and cutting the mushrooms, which you can slice, cube, or really cut any way you'd like. I prefer to pop out the stems, cut those in half, and then cut the mushroom heads in half or in thirds and roughly cube them. Then you'll dice your onion and mince your garlic. After that, we'll move on to cooking. Would you uh, plug this in for me? You can do this all in one pot, but I promise you that it will come out better in a large pot and a large saute pan. In the large pot, cook down your tomatoes and garlic over a medium to medium high heat until the tomatoes have reduced, their liquid has released and cooked off, and they smell sweet. If you want a more detailed explanation of what to look for, you can check out my fresh tomato sauce recipe, which I will link. While that's cooking down, we'll cook our onions and mushrooms in the large saute pan. Also over a medium to medium high heat until the mushrooms have cooked down, the onions are translucent, and just before there's any grill sticking to the pan. Like I said, if you're not a mushroom person, you can skip the saute pan and simply cook the onions with the tomatoes and garlic. Now, enjoy a little montage of me managing both pots and switching back and forth between my cooktop and the stove to show you how everything cooks down. The mushrooms and onion will take 10 to 15 minutes, where the tomato and garlic can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how much patience you have. But the longer you cook them, the more caramelization you'll get and the better flavor they'll have. So I use canned tomatoes for convenience and bring in the eight Roma tomatoes to balance out any tinniness they may be bringing to the party. But you can make this entire recipe with all fresh if you want to tackle that goal. The conversion here, including the eight Romas I use, is 48 to 56 medium-sized tomatoes, or about 18 cups or 10 and a half pounds. To speed up the process of cutting them, you can throw them into a food processor or a blender and pulse them and you would need to cook them down for a very, very long time over medium heat until they had reduced and sweetened before moving on to the next step. I will say that for me, uh, even practicing a zero waste lifestyle, cutting up that many fresh tomatoes feels like a tall task and aluminum being a highly recyclable material, I feel fine just using canned. Once all your veggies are cooked down, and you can see here I'm checking for how much liquid is still left in my tomatoes before moving on to the next step, you'll add everything else to the large pot. Your cooked mushrooms and onions, your canned tomatoes, I do a mix of pureed, diced, and crushed, Italian seasoning, which you can either do as a pre-made mix or the individual spices, basil, crushed red pepper if you want to add some spice, and pepper. I like to add a tablespoon of red pepper because I like spicy marinara, but I'd say start with one to two teaspoons and taste and adjust from there. Mix it all together and bring it to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer and cook covered for 15 to 20 minutes, stirring, tasting, and adjusting your spices as needed. I'll also advise that you don't wear anything you want to keep clean, especially don't wear white or do a good job of shielding yourself from bubbling tomato sauce with a pot lid while you're making this recipe, because I failed at all of these things multiple times and spent far too much time over my kitchen sink washing out red stains from my sweatshirt. After we've got our sauce, mushrooms, and spices all united and cooked together, we're ready to make some pasta and serve it up for a taste test. This mushroom marinara is flavorful, sweet, a little spicy from the cayenne, and goes great over your favorite shaped pasta, or even as a dipping sauce with bread. I add salt at the table and sometimes sprinkle with nutritional yeast over the top for some cheesiness, or wilt in fresh spinach for some greens. It's a great homemade sauce to have on your list of meal planning recipes because it makes a large amount and will stay good in your fridge all week, or it can be portioned and frozen for future meals. For how it stacks up against an alternative, I'm not going to do a breakdown for the sake of time, but you can check out the full nutrition label on the blog that links out to Chronometer. This recipe, though, is the same as all my others. 
When comparing it to a vegan or non-vegan option without specialty items or animal products, it will cost you less to make. With plant-based ingredients, it'll have more fiber, and without oil or butter, you get to eat more of it for the same number of calories. So that's it for today's recipe. If you try it out, let me know in the comments. You can also subscribe to my blog for recipes right to your inbox and connect with me on social media for day-to-day -day content. Also, if you have suggestions for recipes that you would like to see from me, please let me know that as well. And don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and come back next time. Bye!